Hello, good afternoon. This is Leo Caballero from Clim22, Barcelona. Uh, and we would like to thank uh, Nutide organization for inviting us to this symposium where, where we, we will give a talk about uh, the experience of Clim22. The talk will focus on, the, uh, on our, in our experience of creating a node to develop and uh, broaden a network created on the basis of the information management. The overriding idea that has been guiding us in this task is, has been converting information into knowledge and transmitting it. I mean, communication, communicating it. Klimto 2 was born in 2002 and it was created by, by Amador Bertomeo and by me and now it's 11 years ago and we set, we set it up as a platform for the dissemination of uh, disseminating creation in contemporary jewelry both for people related to contemporary jewelry and above all for those who are not really familiar with, uh, with it but who are or can be interested in creative processes. The creation art is the paradigm on, on which uh, our daily work has been always based. And the intention when we created Green 2 was to show the work of uh, contemporary artists and everything that is generated by, by it or related to, uh, to the subject. Uh, I mean, know to inform and to be informed to know. When we started out, information, of course, it was existing. Creation is generating information always, but it remains dispersed, neither connected or elaborated. So to transmit knowledge, it is necessary to work on the information, selecting it, structuring it, and transmitting it for making a communication. Klim2 at that point became a, a network node, a main node which receives information and is processing this information and disseminating this information in every possible and natural direction simultaneously. The objective at the end is communication and we are a node that is split into a communication structure. There is nothing new about uh, the process and the idea of uh, information management itself. Uh, the tiniest amount of, uh, of language has generated, generated language uh, production. Man has always uh, needed to communicate since uh, what is not transmit remains unknown and does not really exist for everybody else. Even the most basic form of uh, communication had a type of uh, network. Uh, in the communication era, which is now, where information is circulating in real time, if you are not a network node, you do not, do not exist. Uh, we wanted to make contemporary jury existing for a widest audience. In the 1960s, Marshall McLuhan said that the media are not passive channels through which information is just circulating. They are providing the material for thought, that's, that's true, but uh, they also are shaping the process and the way of thinking. To make it clear what we mean by information, here is a very straightforward example. Information is generated naturally. As soon as an artist, for example, is creating works, they are generating information and they are using network processes since they are receiving external stimuli like tradition, previous creations and so and so that they are connecting, they are processing, managing and transmitting. Artists in themselves, they are constituting uh, networks and nodes 
beyond this, in many cases, artists are creating small scale networks which operate as uh, nodes in other broader uh, networks. The raw material transmitted between nodes to create a network is information. In order for information to be transmitted with the capacity to improve a network and communication, the treatment, selection and care of this new raw material is what really contributes to creating nodes, which in turn create the network, which in turn creates reality. Because the reality is the exchange of, of information in itself, so at the end reality is a network. As I have already said before, information is the raw material without which it is impossible to communicate or reach knowledge. Klimto2 is generating new information on the basis of selecting and structuring this raw material to create knowledge. The first step of the process of reaching knowledge is the selection of information and selection itself means expressing an opinion. It is very important to structure the information that we search for, receive or generate because without a structure there can be no understanding and no feedback can be received. For two people to communicate there must be a system in place that is accepted and understood by both parties. A structure does not exhaust knowledge but it does establish the transmission protocol. Most of the information that we receive lacks of any kind of a structure which means that it must be processed. An excess of information or its poor structuring generates noise, which means chaos, which means that the other party loses interest. In other words, it is difficult to circulate unelaborated raw material and generate networks with it. As example, this can be seen clearly in many work conceptualizations, statements, text on exhibitions, so it is not a question of providing a lot of information, but, but rather a small and highly elaborated amount of information. On the net, on the internet, a person takes less than 10 seconds to decide whether to stay on a page or not. This is the time frame that we have available to capture a visitor's attention. An information overload or poor structure of this information means that the user will lose interest and will not return, will not come back to this, to this page. According to our nomenclature, at this point the network has not been created. In instruments must be designed to, to reduce the in, informational noise that we receive and to increase the productivity of our available attention span. Ours is an attention economy. The critical point resides in communicating more efficiently. At that point the message needs to be synthesized and uh, presented attractively, combining text and images and any other format that enhances it and facilitates its understanding. It is a question of explaining stories rather than just providing data. Information should be presented in an informational diet that is uh, both useful and exciting. Information is what surprises us, uh, not what we already know. Information that in the end arrives without criteria or passion is just noise, and noise is absolutely annoying. In an attention economy, where the phenomenon of infoxication is growing exponentially, there is no time to know facts and data directly, but rather we restrict ourselves to discussing the labels given to the facts data. Selecting 
treating, classifying and managing information means giving a name to this facts data. Clim.2 is, is a node within the overall network, the internet. And by generating knowledge and transmitting information, we are generating part of the overall network. We, form, we, are, we are part of an existing structure and we, are inter, and we interconnect different nodes at the same time. We can decide which nodes to connect and therefore which part of the network we are creating and which part of the, of the network we are going to connect to. In this process we also foster the creation of new nodes that did not previously exist. The way in which each one works creates new connections, a new network and therefore a new reality. For example, a collector with a work, a jeweler with a publisher, a school with a students, a work by one artist with the work of another artist, an exhibition display for another exhibition, an emotion through a certain piece, an email address to contact, the words in a blog post. All these are examples of how to operate in a network. All of them show how communication brings reality to us. In that sense, Klimto 2 has influenced these connections. Klimto 2 prepares the ground for a good communication. The node is defined. It is defined through work, elaboration, and so, and so, and so. By example, the possibility of a jeweler in Japan, in China, Australia, or in Europe, to having access to the, to the work of jewel, jewelers from all over the world is contributing to change the creation process. It's shaping a new creation process also. Likewise, the network serves to break down myths, such as the myth of uh, secrecy or control of the information. In creation, in creating, in creation communication is the key. The monopoly of information is the destruction of the network. A valid node is one which contributes to generating feedback with other nodes. All those who have been giving a talk before me or after me in this symposium seminar, all of them, they are contributing to the creation of a knowledge network too. The net at the end is composed by people, people with a passion for sharing. Because with, without this passion, there are no conversation and conversation in the end is the king. What makes the difference is ordinary people doing extraordinary things. In our job, the ultimate goal is to communicate and showcase the work. The process closes the loop. Creation goes to information, goes to dissemination platforms, goes to a network, goes to showcasing this, and goes to the user. We see the work, the item of creation of an artist, as a synthesis resulting from the combination of a set of variables, such as language, memory, tradition, art history, research, character, intention, materials, technique, and so on and so. And this synthesis is generating an item, a piece of work. The result of this synthesis is precisely the work generated through this combination. One of the ways to transmit the work to the public is by deconstructing this, deconstructing this combination of elements in order to explain them and to reach an emotion on the public. What makes a difference, uh, or what is, what is different, making a difference uh, uh, from one object of work to other objects or works is the content of this object or, or work. 
And this is the task that we uh, carry out at Climto2, contributing and transmitting this knowledge to the final user on the basis of selecting, structuring and showcasing the information, creating items of knowledge in order to influence the public. At Climto2, we select the work of artists in which we feel a good synthesis has been achieved. In other words, where a balance has been struck, as we see it, between knowledge of the materials, a good application of technique, an appropriate disc discourse in the creation of the e item. In short, the contribution of a language that enables us, even if only partially, to understand reality in a different way. Understanding reality differently offers us the possibility of explaining a story, of generating an emotion, of transmitting knowledge, of being observed, of being explained. If a work or the body of work of an artist is creating emotion, it stands out among other works. And here is lying the great power of an artist. One of the essential goals uh, of Glimto 2 is to provide knowledge and to generate customers by influencing their cultural experience. With new language, new languages, new relations, new valuations and points of view. Transmitting knowledge to the customer means beginning to value the work and, uh, and beginning to sell it. And by transmitting knowledge, we increase the quality and uh, quantity of uh, user customers. Our goal, in the end, is to influence the, the elements that we can control, as well as to analyze the reality of the customers who we target in a given time and situation. For example, we cannot ignore the supply and demand relationship. In the current climate, we are aware that supply exceeds demand or is exceeding demand. And this requires an analysis that, that places us in the, in the here and, and in the now. Product selection, dissemination, target customers, and so, and so, and so. The better the analysis, the greater the chances of success. And what is better? We say better, but what is better for us? Better for us is a better work, it's a better selection, it's a better explanation, it's a better dissemination, it's a better network, it's a better customer. And this is, this is where the work has to be done. Uh, by all of us. The market has to be built. This is what it makes it possible to close this loop we were talking about before. We all form part of the loop because we all form part of the market. Thank you for attending this talk. We hope it was not too boring and a bit illustrative about what we do. And uh, thank you again for the NUTIDA organization uh, for this kind invitation to give this brief talk about our work.